live back at Harvard. I am outside of my old dorm room, Kirkland House, age 33. Uh, this is actually the first time that, uh, that I've been back here. Priscilla's here with me, too. Uh, this is the first time that we've been back in this dorm uh, since I left uh, about, what was it, 13 14, years 14 ago? 14 years ago. 14 years ago. Don't take more time away from me. 13 years ago. Uh, so I figured it would just be fun to hang out and show uh, you guys what the, what the dorm is like, and so let's take a look. All right, so let's go in here. So the, the kids... Uh, the students who live here uh, during the year uh, have moved out by now. So the, the folks who are here now are, um, are, are basically, term. yeah, they're, they're, Harvard has this program where they allow uh, students who uh, haven't graduated yet, so these guys are, I guess, rising juniors, um, to come live in the dorms and help out crew with, um, w through all the commencement activities, which are going to be going on over the next couple of days. So anyhow, here, here we are. The, the room looks a little bit different from, from what it looked like when I was here, but it's actually mostly the same. I'm going to flip the view around so Eerily you guys can intact. see it. Um, yeah, for the most part, intact. Um, all right, flip this around. All right, so, all right, so here's the door. So we walked in, and from, from the door here, when you walked in, this is the first thing you see, this desk. And this desk, uh, minus the poster in the background, that is not my... Uh, that is not my poster, and I would not have had a poster that cool. Um, this is where my desk was, and this is literally where I sat, and I had uh, my my little laptop here, and this is where um, I programmed Facebook for. You know, it took me about two weeks to program the, the to code the first version of this. It was it was a very simple version that I launched in February of 2004, and um, and th this is kind of where where it happened. Um, over here, where this bed currently is, is where Dustin's desk used to be. So, you know, here, I'm going to go into the bedrooms in a second, where, um, where basically, yeah. you know, the, these, the Harvard does suites, right? So you, this, is, this is the common room. It's yeah. kind of a little odd to have the beds here, but Dustin's desk was right here. Um, Dustin, of course, is my co-founder, and he, um, he joined uh, really early on to help me expand from Harvard to, uh, to a lot of other schools, and uh, was, has been a really instrumental part of scaling it. Now he's uh, started his own company, Asana, um, based out of San Francisco, that's doing uh, uh, work productivity. But all right, so this is this, this is, is the rest of the common room. All right, so let's let's keep on let's keep looking around here. All right, so now where? Uh, well, is this where? No, this is where Chris was. Chris's desk was right here. All right, so here now we're looking in the corner. Yeah, so right this here. where this bed is is where Chris Hughes's desk was. Yeah. All right, so. Chris Hughes is our third co-founder. He joined me early on um, as his first role was our spokesperson because he, he was just he's a really smart guy around social interaction, uh, very well spoken. We needed someone who could actually explain what social networking was uh, to the world. Chris was um, the college version of Polish. Yeah, well, I mean, I think he's he's still a pretty good version of Polish, but we needed. I mean, even today, a lot of people have a hard time explaining. You know what connecting and, and social networking are. So Chris was a really important part early on. Um, he was the third co-founder, joined us to do that. There was also a really important reason why he had to join, which is that I spent a lot of my time um, doing computer science problem sets in the computer science lab. And it was underground in the basement, and there was no cell phone reception. So it used to be that all these local school newspapers, the Crimson, the Yale paper, the Stanford paper, all these different ones, um, would try to call to get comments on what we were doing as we expanded to different schools, and I couldn't get the phone calls because there was no reception. So Chris joined, and that was, that was his first role, was helping to explain to the world what on earth we were doing. Um, and then he, of course, joined as a product manager and helped us build stuff. So, all right, so this is where, where he was. All right, now I'm going to flip this around for a second. Um, all right, we'll make a quick stop in the bathroom. Although, really no, people bathroom. don't really want to see the bathroom. All right, that's not. All right, here was a couch. This was a couch. It used to be here. There's not a couch now. Um, Harvard apparently has boarded up all the fireplaces because I guess they trust students now less than they did when I was here. Um, in this hallway, which is a, a very narrow hallway. Um, oh, this is how wide the hallway is. Yeah, so hold on. So this is, you can see Priscilla. So it's about one pregnant woman wide. Um, you have... <laughs> what unit? Um, um, you have... There used, there used to be a whiteboard. This is where we used to... Yeah, we had, we had the whiteboard here. And this is where we did all of our problem sets. Um, I, I basically had this big whiteboard, and there was just always math, uh, different different versions of math and computer science 
um, problem sets going on up here, and um, that's that's not here anymore. Uh, but that, that was an important part of my college experience. This, Dustin. this was Dustin's bedroom. Um, when Dustin was here, this was uh, stacked, right? So one of the beds that's in the common room now uh, would have been stacked on top of this, and this would have been a bunk bed. Um, and this is the bedroom that I stayed in. I'm going to throw the light on. And this bed is actually in the location that my bed was. Um, so Chris Hughes and I, um, who shared this room, decided immediately upon moving in that you, you can bunk the beds or you can take them apart and, and put them next to each other. So Chris's was there, where these two desks are. Um, we just, we put, we, we, we put his bed there um, and mine was, was over here. Now, the, the secret to this, um, to this zone is actually that th while this was one room and four of us lived here, there was this fire exit, which, uh, which as far as Harvey needs as, to know, we never violated the rules. Uh, well, except I think, yeah, exactly. We, we never violated this rule and the warning alarm will go off sound. I can tell you that that is not true because I think for about the whole year that we're here, we were just propped this open. Um, so the folks in this and in, in, in over here in this, um, uh, suite over here, we're basically a part of our room as well. So you can kind of move over. Um, we got a, a few folks who are over here now. Oh, and you're, you're all just sitting, waiting for, waiting for me to come in here. Hey, how's it going, guys? These are, oh, some nice Harvard cards. That's, um, this is what Harvard does, right? It's like you, you get the Harvard cards. Um, so, so you guys are what? You're rising juniors and seniors. Um, you know, we just met right before this. You want, you want to introduce yourself and tell them what you're doing now? Sure, I actually graduated last year, and I'm interning at Facebook News. Yesterday was my first day. I was in Menlo Park. I took a red eye today, and I started getting work. There you go. All right, and good to see you here. I'll be, I'll be back over there in a moment. Um, I don't know, do you guys want to quickly tell, tell your story of what you're, what you're doing here, helping out with commencement and et cetera? Yeah, yeah, so my name's Michael. I'm from Seattle, and I'm helping out with commencement. And... Uh, was at Yale yesterday, my brother just graduated, so congrats nice. to well on your degree in science. Awesome. Congrats. Uh, I'm Hazen, I'm from New Hampshire, and I'm graduating in the next two days. Oh, awesome. Okay. All right. Exciting. Congrats. That's going to be great. Thank you. I'm excited for your speech. Awesome. Well, no, no pressure. <laughs> I, I heard it's going to be rainy, which is um, a, a little unfortunate, but it'll be good. Uh, I'm Nikon. I'm a rising junior, along with Michael, who's my blockmate, and I'm his lucky roommate to come in right now. I was actually at Facebook internet last summer. Uh, oh. That's my brother, Kia, why he's here. Awesome. Um, yeah. All right, well, I think we, we happened into a good room. Not everyone... Not everyone, Not everyone at Harvard interns. has people who intern at Facebook, um, and I, I didn't I didn't plan this out. I promise. It was um, It's not like you stay in this room; you are guaranteed a job at Facebook. Uh, but I think there probably is some good karma here. All right, let, let's head back to the other room. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Priscilla, do you have any stories from this this uh, suite from 13 years ago that you wanna that you wanna share? None that I should tell. The overlap between <laughs> the overlap that we have between stories that are good, stories that I'm not already going to share at commencement on, in two days, and stories that are reasonable to tell on a live stream with a hundred thousand people watching is very small. Yeah, let's just say I was 18 when you were in this room, and um, people should be allowed to move on from things that happened when they were 18 years old. I agree with that. I was 19, so you, yeah. you make it sound like <laughs> it's all right. Um, Okay, so let's get out through this. All right, so here are the guys who are actually staying in this um, in this dorm now. Uh, hey, how's it going? Do you guys want to introduce yourself and sit down? You can grab a seat. I'm gonna sit here in this in this chair, which is the chair that I once sat in while programming. All right, um, all right. Tell us a little bit about yourselves and and what you're what you're doing here for the next few weeks. Nice. Yeah, I'm Hillman. I'm going to be a junior next year, uh, working for the building manager and I'm economics also. I'm Chris. I'm from Wells, Massachusetts. Also going to be a junior and uh, study history and literature. All right. So what what stories, Priscilla? Do you think we should? <laughs> oh, well, we we have to have some some stories besides just where the furniture was. Uh -huh. I feel like there's got to be something worth sharing from our time in Kirkland. 
Well, I spent a lot of time here's, sitting here's right a, here. Yeah. This was like literally That's a nice chair. where it happened. So, this is. I mean, these are what, twin extra long? Yeah, twin extra yeah. long. Uh, That's like the standard college thing, it's right? It's a standard college mm -hmm. bed. Um, and, you know, now that I'm pregnant now, I'm like, Mark, how did we ever stay in one bed? That's physically <laughs> impossible. Oh, yeah, I really don't understand that. Yeah, that I don't understand. So that was different. Um, but it actually worked out really well because I like to wake up early. So I would be up at like 5 a.m. in the morning. And I would work from like 5 to 9 and then go to class. Mm -hmm. And then when I woke up, Mark went to bed. So mm -hmm. we actually just took shifts and then never actually <laughs> had to that's fit true. on one twin. That is, that's true. Yeah, I was up until like 5 a.m. coding. Well, because yeah. everyone goes to bed. And then it's like when you're programming, you want it to be quiet, right? And you want, you want the time when you can just, you can just hang out and like jam on whatever it is you're yeah. building. And then there used to be, you know, um, also completely following Harvard's rules, there once was a uh, microwave in here that we would make um, Hot Pockets in. And then every time we made a Hot Pocket, Joe Green... Oh yeah, Joe Green. Would it was like, he was like the, the quintessential worst roommate. Yeah. Right? It's like, he would come in, through, he lived on the other side of the fire door, and, and it's like, we had like... Yeah, no, it's like, I don't even know how we got him. And then he would come in and eat your Hot Pocket. You're just like, it's like, it would be like, I know, it's like we'd be doing a problem set of programming, and you'd have one Hot Pocket left. It would be the last And he'd be like... Ugh. It's like, do I smell a hot pocket? And we just like open it up and start eating. It's like, Joe, man, that's my last hot pocket. It's like, now I have to go all the way down to 7 yeah. Eleven. And it's Cambridge, so it's snowing, right? I mean, it's, this isn't like, yeah. we're not in Palo Alto anymore, guys. Um, and yeah. This is not a heart, this room specific memory, but do they still have the hangover chicken on Sunday? That's like kind of a hot pocket, but it's. It's like a chicken patty that's filled with broccoli and cheese. Oh, yeah. And yeah. 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 You wouldn't know anything yeah. about hangovers. <laughs> yeah, that was like delicious on Sunday mornings. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so one story that I think is pretty funny to tell from here is... Um, so I built a lot of different stuff during my time here. I mean, obviously, Facebook is the one that people use now. Uh, but I, I also I built pranks. I built like class study tools. Um, just all, all, all these different tools. And w one of the things, one uh, weekend, I wanted to build this, um, this prank website, FaceMash. And, um, and I, I, I'm going to talk about this a little bit in commencement in a couple of days. But, so I don't want to get too deep into it. But I, I basically sat here for like three days straight and just coded this thing. And it was, it was a prank. It was, it was kind of funny, but it also a little bit in poor taste. And so I... I sent a link out to a few of my friends and then went out to a meeting, right, at some club that I was a part of. I didn't, ex I didn't like, I wasn't trying to launch it. I, um, I just, like, sent it to a few friends. And while I was out at the meeting, um, I guess people had, like, someone emailed it to the Kirkland House list. Oh, and, no. and then it got emailed around. Oh, and no. within, um, so within a couple of hours while I was out, like, everyone on campus was just using this and, like, and, and clicking and, like, and, and doing all this stuff. And so I got back to my dorm, and I was like, oh, I need to, like, shut this thing down. So I, like, I was, the server that I was running it for was just my laptop, right? So it wasn't, like, a computer that was meant to be serving websites. So I, like, couldn't log in. I tried to log into my, uh, my computer, and it was all jammed from all these people using this. And, um, and then Harvard was, like, really wanted to shut it down. So they cut off internet access to all of Kirkland. <laughs> that was, like, that was their, um, their way of, of shutting down the service was like, they were like, you have to like get this thing down. Um, now, like no homework or internet or anything for any of you guys in Kirkland. We're just, I mean, this is gone um, and, and we're done. And then of course the ad board wanted to come see me and, and I, I almost got kicked out of school and um, there's a whole lot of fun stuff there that, um, that, we'll, that we can get into another time. But um, that is probably one of my, one of my more memorable moments from Kirkland House is just sitting here and like I'm trying to fix this. Dustin's trying to do his computer science problem set. Um, Chris is like trying to write some paper for social studies or whatever he was studying. And then all of a sudden the internet just goes dark. Yeah, no, it's like it's like Joe comes in, takes our last hot pocket. And it's like, come on, Joe. It's like that's what you want right now. It's like you take our last hot pocket. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So that was that was uh, that was pretty real back then. But I, mean, I used to I used to just sit here and program. I remember now, now that now that we're sitting here, a bunch of memories are coming back. I, I don't know if I'm so when you guys first 
sit when you first move in at the beginning of the year there's like some dorm bonding right there's like some day right i don't know i mean i know you guys don't live in kirkland the rest of the time but kirkland has this beach day where everyone goes to the beach and i decided that instead of going to beach day i wanted to program um a, a study tool that um and I, I was I was trying, yeah, as as one would do, right? Just a typical person would do, right? That's like what a, a typical Harvard student would do. So I, I was trying to figure out what classes I should take. And so naturally the, the normal thing that one would do in this situation is like, all right, I'm gonna go download the course catalog and make a website where people can enter what classes they've they are want to take and shop and what classes they've taken in the past, and then they can click on other people in those classes and see what they've taken to see the correlation. So people have taken stuff that I'm interested or likely to take this. Here are the people who are going to likely be in this class. So this looks like a good, a good student list. Um, I call it course match. Um, and, and I, I, I emailed that one out. I actually tried to launch that one myself. That, that was intentional. And, um, and my laptop just like melted down within like a week of it, of it launching. Um, I think that there's this thing, which is like, we ran, the shower and we didn't shut this door, so there's like all the steam coming out. And like now I know this, I like run data centers, right? And have like <laughs> hundreds of thousands of machines. Like you don't want the steam coming out and pouring onto the computer. Uh, but but I, I remember at the time that that was a pretty fun thing. Um, I don't know what else. What other fun stories from Harvard do we want to share before we sign off here? You guys have anything? Did, just, did you ever try and build anything from course there. into Facebook? Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, no, I did. So that was Dustin's first job. Well, so the so the early versions of of Facebook were kind of a combination of like all of the different social tools that I built before that, right? So, um, so there was definitely a little bit of course match in it. One of the big things was like you could say what classes you were taking, and that's how you would find your first friends. Yeah, and we ended up getting rid of that feature over time because, well, once Facebook spread outside of colleges it was less relevant, right? Yeah. But it was actually, but it was this huge pain in the ass because, and, and this was like the bane of Dustin's life for a year because every time we launched at a school, yeah. they had a different course catalog. Uh, so, and he was like, hey, why could, can't we just like have, put in some generic things like for math, multivariable calculus, for whatever. It's like, mm-hmm. like no, we, we should make it to that. Specific, yeah. At Harvard, you're saying you're taking 21A or 23A or whatever it is. But that meant that for every single college that we launched at, we had to parse the course catalog separately. And that was just very specific work that he had to go do um, that eventually we stopped doing, but... He would get so mad. Yeah, he was, he was not. <laughs> Dustin, if you're out there, I love you, man. I appreciate you for doing that. And, you know, we just launched this feature for Facebook Live today, Live With, which technically should make it so that you can dial in um, and call in and, and join this live stream. So if you're out there and you want to join this live stream... Um, True Dustin character, Dustin would rather not. Oh no, Dustin would absolutely rather not. Um, that is, that's, that's for sure. Um, I don't know what else. What other, what else? Did uh, Joe get hired? <laughs> Joe? <laughs> yeah, Joe Green. Joe Green. No, it's, uh, it turns out that coming in and stealing your hot pockets is not a good strategy for getting hired. But actually, there's a, there's a funnier story behind. It. Can I tell this? Story? You can, you can tell the story. All right, so, let's go over to. Uh, what was the one that you got in trouble for? Called? Face mash. Face mash. So Joe got, also got adborted in the face mask <laughs> issue, and so you know his parents got involved too, and he he didn't not, they didn't take any action, and he was fine. But he sat down with his dad, and they decided that like he he promised his dad he wouldn't get involved with anything that Mark ever did. Again. <laughs> oh no! Oh, my gosh. So he had the option of joining me at Facebook early on, and turned it down. And I guess, like to this day, I mean, this is an ongoing like fight that he that he has with his dad. That's all good. I, it turned out it turned out fine for him. He's he started yeah, a bunch fine. of companies. He's doing a bunch of good stuff. But um, no, when I when I was here, I just loved building all these different social tools, right? So stuff like Course Match. I built websites for different teams. Like I built the website for the Ultimate Team, um, Intramural Team. I like helped different clubs out with their websites. I mean, this is just like what I wanted to do. And so I, I got. By the time I actually got around to to building Facebook. I had built up so many different tools for building these social uh, websites that actually during, so I was built, do you guys still have, um, what do you, what, Q, Q guide. Yeah. No, um, what's, what was I going to say? It's, um, what's the period, uh, study period? What is it called? Yeah, reading, reading period? When, when is that now? When is reading period? Is it in January still? 
Well, so we have shopping week at the beginning no, of the year. No, they, they take their finals before Christmas. Before Christmas. Yeah. 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 All right, so that's changed. Mm -hmm. Right, so when I was here, you took your fall semester finals at the end of January, which kind of doesn't make much sense. So basically, you, you, you went home, um, and then you, you basically had all of January off to, um, to study. It was a reading period. So I took basically all of January to build Facebook. Right? That was the period where I was building Facebook. But it turned out, so I, there were a bunch of classes that I like, hadn't really gone to during the semester because yeah. I was um, like, building different various things. So there was this one class, um, a core curriculum class, Rome of Augustus. Do you, does this still exist? Is this still here? So I haven't heard of it. I've heard yeah? of it. They redid the core curriculum. We have, it's we called still have something it. else. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Gen Gen it's called yeah. Gen Eds, but yeah, general education. I see. But, but is that class Rome of Augustus still here? I think it's still here. Yeah. All right. So, so the final exam, the year that I was there, mm -hmm. was, it, it, was a, it was an art of, I guess, a literature and arts class. And um, they, they gave you 200 pieces of art over the, the period of the course. And on the final exam, they were going to pick out like three or four that you had to um, basically know the significance of and write an essay about the significance of them. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is that I think I didn't go to class like the whole time, right? So, and, I, and I didn't like do much studying for it either. So I was, and instead of, of, of studying during reading period, I was building Facebook. So I got to this period a few days before the final where I'm like, wow, I'm kind of screwed. I mean, this is not like one of those things like math where you could yeah. just go in and like figure it out on the exam, right? There's no amount of smart that you can be that is going to like make it so that you know all of the yeah. art pieces. Um, so I was like, all right, I'm kind of screwed. So I, I took a break from building Facebook one evening to build a study tool. I went to the course website. I downloaded all of the images that, that like we'd studied over the course of the beyond the class, and I made a tool where people could enter a comment about what was the historical significance of a photo and then see the comments that everyone else in the class had added. And then I emailed this out to the class list, and I was like, hey guys, I just built a study tool that's going to help us all study, and um, so I sent this thing out, and within like an hour, it was populated with just like distilled summaries of what was significant about every single one of the photos in the class. So that is how I passed Rome of Augustus while... Uh, building Facebook during reading period in January of 2004 before launching. All right, anything else before we wrap up today? No, I think that's a good one to end on. All right, well, it's fun visiting Kirkland, age 33 again. I think I, this is actually my first time being back here since um, since I, I left 13 years ago. And I think they're renovating and, it, so it's the last yeah, one. Yeah, that's the last time I'm going to be here. Because, I mean, if there's one thing about Harvard, they... Um, they're very confident about getting rid of old relics because they know that they're always going to be making new history. And I mean, that's an amazing thing about, about Harvard is there aren't that many institutions in the world that can, that can be that confident that going forward, um, there's going to be so much awesome stuff happening here, but Harvard can do that. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm probably never going to be back here again uh, in, in this specific room, but, but this has been a, a place where a, a lot of really special things happened in my life, and I'm really grateful to this place. All right. Well... Thanks, everyone, for, for tuning in for our, our live stream here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing the commencement address Thursday afternoon. So that's a couple days from now. I think it'll be around 3 p.m. Uh, in the afternoon. Um, I've been working on this for a while. It's, um, it's pretty personally meaningful to me to, be, to actually finally get a degree from here. And I promise it, it means even more to my parents, uh, who, who really <laughs> wanted me to, to graduate. This might be the thing that they're going to be most proud of me for. Um, so I, I hope uh, a lot of you get a chance to, to tune in then, and hopefully it'll be fun. All right, talk to you guys soon.